Welcome to Rock Solid Productions, where in this episode we are going to check out the Nyko Thin Case compatible with the Nintendo Switch designed to allow you to keep your Switch in a case while it's docked. Hello everybody and welcome to Rock Solid Productions. My name is Gary, your host here on the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I greatly appreciate you stopping by. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. That way, each and every time we do come out with new reviews, how-tos, tips and tricks, live streaming, you are kept the most up in the know. So, Nyko has got a really unique product here. This is what they're calling the Thin Case. It is a dockable protective case kit for the Nintendo Switch. There's been a lot of people that have been worried about the uh, dock on the Switch scratching their screen, um, the Switches being warped from heat, and a bunch of other things. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna throw it on the bench and see how it compares. Now, I have a bunch of other cases and they're ones I like, they're ones I don't like so much. Probably the one I use the most is this guy here. And what I like about it is the fact that um, I can actually set my switch in desktop mode without needing to use the kickstand. Um, hopefully we'll see how this one here works. Now I also have a bunch of docks here up on uh, the display. We are going to test it not only with the original OEM Nintendo dock, but we have the, um, the Best Buy dock here. We also have Nyko Zone dock, and then we have the Charge N Pro Switch Hub, uh, the Insignia dock, that's what that is. Sorry, I drew a blank there. So we're gonna test it with all of them, see how it works, and we're gonna make sure not only that it fits, but it provides power. Um, not gonna hook up the HDMI cord to it here. We'll throw it on the photo bench, but if it provides power, then it should transfer everything as far as content goes uh, to connect to our TV. So if you wanna play Fortnite, do me a favor, head on over to the Pixel Game Squad, any of their videos, tell them I sent you there, and make sure you say, Riff, we love Fortnite. He hates Fortnite. Just a little joke between friends here. But we're going to go ahead, we're going to throw this on the bench, and we're going to see how our Switch goes in it. So here on the bench, we have the thin case. It is dock compatible. That's the big thing, the compelling thing for me about it. I did get this at uh, GameStop. It was $17.99. Uh, I was able to get three times the points for Elite Pro, thanks to Sean Long and his calling that out. I was able to take advantage of that before it ended. So on the back, it's ultra thin, adds minimal size, increase to the switch, protects the outer shell of the switch and the Joy-Con controllers. Uh, includes a screen protector, ultra thin protection, dockable, that's the biggest thing. Uh, included tempered glass screen protector guards against scratches. I'm, gonna, I'm curious to see if that has an adhesive to it or if it's built in. Uh, it's a three piece thin case and one screen protector. So let's open this up. It looks like there's a little bit of tape on this side here and that side there. I'm pretty sure you can also get this at like Walmart, Best Buy, um, Amazon. If it is available on Amazon, I'll actually have a link down below to where you can order it through our Amazon affiliate store. And if you do that, it actually helps out the channel. I don't know why this is taped so oddly, but it is. I know people get frustrated when I call it Nike or Nico. It's because I've been involved with radio control cars for so long and two very similar companies in both Nike and Nico. So there's the case itself. So basically you put the outer shell on first, seal everything up, then you put the Joy-Con shells on, and get everything rocking and rolling. Oh, that's the Joy-Con grips. These are a jelly, it's not a hard plastic. Um, I kind of wish there was a, uh, a black version since I have the black switch, but we'll deal with it. How to secure a thin case. Push, push each clasp on the upper and lower parts of the thin case until it snaps into place. You may also need to push lower or push down on each clasp individually. Each clasp must be clipped together properly or the thin case may not fit into the dock securely. That's good to know. Set the styrofoam aside. Here is the tempered glass, and that is an adhesive. I will eventually put that on. I'm not going to do that right now. And thankfully, it does also come with a cleaning wipe and a cleaning wipe dry and wet. We'll start here. It has a cut out for all your cooling. That's nice. This is a very thin material. Um, I mean, I could see this, if you're not careful, you could break this uh, when putting it on. So we've got everything on here to start. 
and you want to make sure that certain things align, such as the headphone jack. And we will put this around here and actually set this down on the photo bench. Actually, what I'm going to do, I think it'll make it easiest if you pop off the Joy-Con. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to set those aside for now. So now what I can do is get a really nice flat placement here. And if you see, I've got the headphone jack aligned pretty well. And now we need to bring this around this way. And there are little tabs on each side that kind of lock you into place. There we go. And you actually have to push, once you have the halves together, you push in towards the body of your switch to kind of lock it into place there. You can hear it snap again. So here you can kind of see, if you look closely, how it's not quite aligned. And this is where we need to take a few moments and just make sure those are pushed into place as they need to be. So I can feel a ridge here. There we go. Now we got it. Yeah, you should not feel a lip between here. Um, if you can, that means the case is not on flush. So there's that. Now we'll put the Joy-Con grip covers on. Like I say, these are just a, a pliable, rubbery sort of material. That's well, a good thing this is not the hard plastic. It also kind of has its limitations too. But there we got that one on. Slide that one into place. And I'll be able to take this off and put the uh, tempered glass screen protector on pretty easily too, I think. And actually this one went on a heck of a lot easier than the right one. So there you go. I will say that these have kind of a slick feel to them to begin with. I kind of wish these were textured. Yeah, I could see these slipping out of hand rather easily. But now let us check and see. We've got, I'm just going to test it first before uh, supplying power. But there is the stock switch dock. It does drop in. And with these protecting the screen, you should not have any issue whatsoever with that um, scratching your screen. You know what I'm going to do at this point? I'm going to go grab the power supply. We're going to test this out the right way. Now, just for reference, I am actually using the stock OEM Nintendo power brick here. And as you can see, 2.6 amp output on there. And first things first, we are going to actually just verify that we are getting power out of this port into the switch. And there you can see it is charging. So we'll start with the switch stock dock. I know it's going to be hard to see, but pop it in. The display went out, so that tells me that yes, it is transferring power and everything. So we'll throw that one aside for now. We'll test it next with the Insignia dock. Plugged it in. And cannot get it to connect with the Insignia dock. So that's interesting let me check one other thing here real quick i'm gonna turn it around can't see why it wouldn't work with the insignia dock i think maybe yeah i'm not thinking this is going to be a fit so for now i'm going to say no on the insignia dock let's try nyko's own dock it'd be kind of silly if it didn't work with their own equipment Popped right up, that one's charging. And then finally the Charge N Pro Switch Hub. This is actually the dock I took with me when I went to Germany earlier this year. I really dig it. And I just have to hit the button on the back. I don't think it'll respond unless I have it plugged in. And does not look like I'm making contact here. So we're at a 50% failure rate, it looks like. Does not work with the Insignia dock, does not work with the Charge and Bro dock, but it does look work with uh, Nyko's own dock and works with the stock Nintendo dock. Now, let me just test this one last thing. I'm going to try to pop this apart. And I just want to make sure, just normally speaking, will it, you know, is this working with that? 
plugged right in and it's working. We'll try the Insignia Dock the same way just to be fair. There's the Insignia Dock. Powers right on. So compatible with the stock dock, with the Nyko dock, not compatible with the Insignia dock, nor the Charge N Pro dock. So at the end of the day, what do I think of the Nyko thin case? It's a pass for me. Um, for 18 bucks, it's okay. I really don't like how slick it is, first of all. Um, especially, my thought is, this is going to be designed for people with kids who are going to play in handheld mode. The rubber grips and everything on the Joy-Cons, super slick. I think it makes it harder for you to hold the Joy-Cons, not easier. Um, in addition, it is a little bit of a challenge to get the case on in the first place. And it's just not compatible with all docks. Now, I am glad that above and beyond the stock Nintendo dock, and that's what they're advertising that this works with, is the stock Nintendo dock. I'm glad they actually thought to make sure that it was compatible with their own product in their own portable dock that they have. Um, above and beyond that, the fact that I have a black console, they don't have a black version, or at least my GameStop did not have a black version. Um, I do like the tempered glass uh, screen protector. That's a nice touch, but of above and beyond that, <clears throat> if you're an adult playing in dock mode for the most part, it's a pass for me. If you've got kids that are going to be taking it on the go and you don't want to be taking it in and out of cases, like I don't mind taking my Switch in and out of this case for when I do travel because I do it so rarely. If you're traveling with it on the regular, you know, I don't know that this is going to be something that I would want to keep on my Switch full time. I, do, I am glad that it has the cutouts for the vents and everything too. Should help, you know, make sure that you're not getting heat buildup because of this on there. You will actually get a little bit just because you are adding a layer of plastic to the back side of the case on the Switch. But these are just my opinions. What do you think? Have you picked one of these up yet? And if so, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments section. Or as always, you can also email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. Send me a tweet over on Twitter at rocksolidstudios. Or we've always got the conversation going on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash rock solid. If you want to also go ahead and help contribute to the future of the show, you can do so in a couple different ways. We have our address down below in a pinned comment. You can always go ahead and send us stuff if you want us to have us review it, fan mail, letters, anything along those lines. We always welcome those sorts of things. You can also help us by joining us on Patreon at patreon.com slash rock solid for as little as a dollar a month. You get early access to all of our video content, exclusive conversations with me, exclusive videos, and even more. So you can head on over there for just a dollar a month. You can help support the channel. And then you can also pick up some rock solid merchandise too. Head on over to our Teespring store. I'll have it on screen right here and down in the linked post below where you can go ahead and pick up some t-shirts, uh, some hats, some stickers, a bunch of other things. We have new stuff that I'm working on too. Now, I don't know if he has them yet, but I know from time to time, Ryan over Castlemania Games, well, he does carry quite a few different products for the Switch and accessories. He's got power supplies, he's got Joy-Con grips, he's got a lot of stuff. Head on over to CastlemaniaGames.com. The cool thing is, for orders over $20, you get free shipping and handling in the U.S., and on most items on the website, too, if you use promo code ROX10, you get to save 10%. Now, that's most items, not all of them. So, um, I like the idea. I don't like the execution. I'd like to see someone else come out, and I'd like to see it in either clear or black. Um, and I'd like to see it where it's not this slickery, either. Don't forget, to head on over to the Pixel Heroes Game Squad and any of their videos... Say, Riff, I love Fortnite, Garrett Rocksaw Productions sent me. Again, just a little bit of a rib between friends. I am Gary. This has been Rocksaw Productions. Don't forget to subscribe. That way, when we have new content, you are kept in the know. I thank you for watching. I'll see you real soon.